All right, guys, so um, we're rolling, we're in the car, and um, I just wanted to kind of have a chat with you guys. Um, so I've been thinking a lot lately about copywriting, about, you know, why people start copywriting, what people are thinking or the situation that a lot of people are in um, when they decide to check out my videos and and take the first couple steps to becoming a copywriter. And what I realized is a lot of the videos that I'm making and you know a lot of other people are making kind of put a lot of information in your face. Do this, do this, do this, tutorial for this, email copy that, um, how to get copyrights, copywriting clients here, how to get copywriting clients there, and all that fun stuff, and that's great, but what I've been noticing and something that I've been thinking a lot about recently is we don't really talk about questions like whether or not people should even bother starting copywriting in the first place. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I think that's an important factor. Like I think the, the why you might consider doing something is almost as important as how you end up doing it and the skills you end up developing. Because I do think that a lot of people start looking at copywriting like this great way to make a ton of money, right? To change your life um, and to, you know, open yourself up to this situation where you might be able to make a ton of money but it's not just about becoming a copywriter. Um, it's not just about watching a tutorial, like I have a ton of copywriting tutorials and courses that might not be enough for some of you, right? And that's something that I think I need to talk about more, which is why we're doing this kind of in the car with Mike while he goes and gets roses for his mom's birthday type of video, but also, you need to you need to think about your why and here's why so when you look at copywriting right it's a super valuable skill it's something that people need it's in demand it's something that companies can pay you a lot of money for and a lot of people that i've come across online look at copywriting as a skill that you just watch some videos practice and do and to a, to a degree that is what it is, right? Like you, you learn a skill, you develop the skill, then you can sell that skill to people. But copywriting is not just a business of having a skill, right? Like when you think about being a copywriter, the reason that people pay certain copywriters a lot of money isn't just because they are good at getting words onto a page, right? You have to think about copywriting as a broader discipline not just one where you have to learn a skill and then you can start charging for this skill right away. But what you should really be thinking about is how does that business intend on using copywriting or where would this fit in or how does copywriting work for the broader sales process? And this is what I think a lot of people miss when they start initially thinking about whether or not they should go into copywriting. All right, so I'm not trying to discourage a lot of you. I'm just trying to arm you with some information that will help you make more money and actually, you know, succeed at this thing that you might not succeed at otherwise, right? So, so let's say you're brand new. You, you've started watching one of my copywriting courses, right? I give you practice exercises. I give you a routine to follow. I give you some tips and you go do that for six months. Okay, you've done it for six months. You wanna start getting your first copywriting client. You just start approaching companies saying, hey, I'm a copywriter. I can do X, Y, and Z. I can help you make a lot of money. You probably won't get hired if you're just focusing on the writing, right? Because people hire copywriters to achieve some sort of a goal. Um, they want more sales. They want more brand exposure. They want to... Um, gain more applicants to their job postings or whatever it is, you need to start thinking in the mindset of, hey, I can do copywriting now, 
I have the skills, I'm confident as a writer, but I also have kind of dived into this world of marketing and sales and understanding the industries that my clients are in. And a lot of people, and I love you guys, all you guys on the channel, but a lot of the people who watch these videos don't do that. They look at copywriting like a point solution. One thing that you learn once and you're good, but it's not. It's kind of an, an ecosystem of a mindset that you really need to you really need to start opening yourself up to, right? So, you know, I might be rambling a little bit, but what does this mean? So if you're someone who's made the decision that you want to get into copywriting, right? Learn the skills, do the practice, totally do that. But if you really want to be successful and not someone that a lot of companies overlook and ignore and never end up hiring, you need to make it a part of your life to be interested in learning about the types of companies you want to sell services to. You need to spend some time figuring out how they currently do marketing. And that might require you to do stuff other than copywriting, right? That might require you to, you know, on a basic level, do some research, read some reviews or press releases of publicly traded companies on what they're doing apply to jobs, take an interview, and just ask questions so you can learn what people are doing. Because if, if you're coming into copywriting with no experience, no copywriting experience, no job experience, right? A lot of you, which I love, because copywriting is something that you can get into and start to build corporate experience, build business experience. But a lot of you are coming into it and you've never worked at a company like the type of company you're trying to sell to, and that's normal. I haven't worked in a lot of the industries for a lot of the projects that I've sold either. That's totally fine. But you need to learn about them. You need to make it a part of your day to read, you know, business news stories or articles in the paper about certain companies, certain industry, what makes them tick, what they're focusing on, what the trends are, right? And right now, I know a lot of people are guilty of not doing that. So. So yeah, I just, I wanna talk about this because it's important, right? Like I, I've spent the last four years of my life literally spending so much time trying to figure out different ways that I can distill different tips and pieces of information in a way that would be helpful to the most people in the most number of countries and places and cities all around the world for learning and becoming a copywriter who's able to make money. And I think I've done a pretty good job at that. But this, the topic of this video is something that I want to start doing more of. So how can you become more of a well-rounded person that would help you benefit in your copywriting business other than just practicing writing? I've talked about it just now. Research. Um, do like guerrilla research tactics like I mentioned as well. Like don't be afraid to reach out, like look look through the companies, right? Like once you've decided you wanna sell copywriting services and you're making lists of companies you wanna go after and you wanna eventually sell to, go on their website, see if they have a job posting, reach out to the recruiter or the hiring manager, send them an email, hey, interested in this job posting, can you tell me more about your business? Help me understand it, because I think I might be a good fit but I don't know too much about your industry. A lot might ignore you, but some, many even, might respond and are excited at the opportunity to tell you about it. They, they might be open to hiring someone who doesn't have experience in their industry, and they might divulge a lot of information that would be so valuable to you, not only for your chances of you know potentially selling copywriting and marketing services to that one company, but potentially for your ability to reach out to and become an asset selling copywriting services to hundreds of other companies that are in that same industry and face the same problems. Because if you, if you hadn't reached out to them and you hadn't asked the questions and you hadn't gotten that information, you, you might have no idea how that business works or what they care about or what their problems are or what they're trying to solve with copy. That is so important and it's just, it, it's a little thing like that that a lot of people, 
who go through the, the paces of learning how to become a writer never go through, right? You're kind of creating this black box where you've spent a thousand hours practicing writing copy and that's great, but you now need to take the time spending hours and hours and hours learning about the types of businesses or the industries you want to specialize in, right? And I think that the mindset needs to shift. And, you know, I'm just, I'm going to rant a little bit here, but so many people, and I was like this in the past too, go to YouTube, go to Google, and they're looking for the quickest and absolute fastest way to make money with a particular skill set. And I'm guilty of making videos where, you know, the title is exciting, the thumbnail's exciting, but I try my best to hit you with the goods once you hit that video because we live in a world on YouTube, especially when it comes to making money online and copywriting, where it's fast paced. Everyone's trying to one up each other and be like, you know, this is the fastest way to do this. Do this and in a, in a day you'll make $10,000. But with copywriting, I think you guys are all smart enough to know that A, from a skill set perspective, it might take you a while to learn copywriting as a skill, right? But then for you to turn that skill into a lot of money, you also need to take quite a bit of time learning and just gaining knowledge about the types of businesses that you want to sell to. Because otherwise, how could you expect to be an asset to them, right? Like. Who's gonna hire a copywriter? Like, let, let's say, let me give you an example. So let's say, where am I? I'm driving around. Let's say a bookstore, right? Chapters, big, huge bookstore in Canada, US, I'm sure other places in the world. Let's say you start the conversation with the head of marketing at Chapters and you're pitching yourself as a copywriter, you're pitching yourself as someone who can help them get more customers into the store, or maybe they want to get more people to sign up for their rewards program, and they need a copywriter to write copy to do that, right? You're trying to pitch yourself as that copywriter. There's gonna be a point in that conversation where they say, what do you know about the book business? Or what do you know about publishing? And if you've only spent your time up until that point learning how to write copy that convinces them to open your email and have that conversation with you, and you've never read up on their business or you haven't spent time looking at how Amazon Direct or Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing is a big competitor to traditional bookstores, and you're not versed at all in what's happening in their industry, they're not gonna hire you. They would probably hire a less skilled copywriter who has more experience in their industry, or at least convinces them that they have more experience in their industry because they feel like, hey, they're gonna write copy that's not just marketing fluff. They're gonna write copy that addresses what our customers in our industry are looking for based on what the big players like Amazon are doing, based on the, the things that we've tried in the past, right? You gotta do that type of stuff. You have to do the legwork to get versed on it. And you can do it, like I said, research, you can apply to job postings or reach out to job postings, asking for information on what they're looking for, the problems they're trying to solve, you can do all that. But you have to be in the mindset that that is part of your copywriting journey. And if that's something that does not interest you at all, or something that you think is a total waste of your time, part of this video is me telling you that it, maybe copywriting's not for you if you're not willing to do that because that's important, right? Like, there is so much money to be made online, copywriting, doing a million other things. And and again, this is why I'm, I'm trying to make this video. I, I've made so many videos about how to do the technical stuff to learn copywriting, how to practice, how to develop the skill set, how to you know, write emails, how to write copy, how to learn copy, how to build Fiverr gigs to sell your copy. I've done all that. But I think this is the missing piece. And that piece is that people need to really focus on whether or not becoming a specialist in something in particular and then leveraging copywriting to make money in that specialty is something you wanna do. Because, you know, take me for example. I'm a copywriter. I'm a Fiverr Pro copywriter. 
I sell to almost any industry. Like if someone reaches out to me, most of the time I'm taking the project. Most of the time I'm selling the deal. And if it's an industry I don't know, I wing it because I've taken the time through a career in sales to learn how to do things like discovery, to learn how to ask questions, to learn how to collect information so that in a really short period of time, I can learn enough about their industry and combine that with my sales experience to write copy that I think will have a pretty good chance of accomplishing their goals, right? But if I didn't have the experience I had, I would do what I'm telling you to do. You need to pick certain industries, certain businesses you're interested in and try to specialize, focus on them, learn about them and see if that interests you. Because if it doesn't and you're not willing to do that, it's going to be hard, right? And you know, th this also raises kind of like a little question or, or idea about AI, right? If you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, I can just use AI to fill in the research gaps on industries I'm not familiar with and companies that I've never heard of and, you know, I can get the project first and then just fill it myself in on the information later, you're missing what I'm saying because by doing that, you are, you are turning yourself into a low value business person that they're going to work with because what you got to realize is before they hire you, there's a, a period of time where you're communicating with them, you're chatting with them, you're learning about the project, right? And in that time, you might think it's just about you learning about them and trying to sell your services, but they're trying to learn about you too. They're trying to figure out if you are worth the money and very, very likely they're talking to other people as well and they're comparing you and they're vetting all of their options. So in that time, that's your time to show them that you've taken the time to learn about their business and that's gonna help you win deals. And I guess that's kind of a big part of this video is if you want to do this and you're serious about it and you wanna make money and you love the idea of writing to make money, that's great. But now I'm telling you, you need to start loving the idea of learning about the types of businesses you want to sell to. Because if you don't, it is gonna be very hard for you. Um, and a couple things might happen that you don't like. Like one, I think I just alluded to that, is you might have a very hard time actually convincing people to hire you because being a skilled copywriter, technically speaking, from a writing perspective, is just one part of this equation. <clears throat> Combining that with industry knowledge or knowledge of the problems that, you know, common problems, you don't even know specifics, but like for example, I'm releasing a video on tomorrow or actually Monday um, about copywriting, but with a focus on selling to tech companies. I saw, I was work, I worked at a tech company for years in sales and I've sold to tech companies. There are general problems that a lot of tech companies face that are pretty universal across the board. So once you learn about these types of problems, you can talk about them and find new ways to solve them based on specifics of certain companies you're trying to work with that are experiencing these problems. So for example, a lot of tech companies that sell software they want to get more free, more people to sign up for free trials because free trials is a way for people to test their tool and get into it and it generates a lead and by signing up for a free trial, the company's collecting their email and their information. It's a way for that company to start selling to that person, right? It's important. As a copywriter, you could pitch yourself as someone who could help a company get more free trials, right? But if you have not even taken the time to learn about SaaS companies or software companies, and you have no clue that a free trial is a part of their process, it doesn't matter if you're an amazing copywriter because when you're talking to them, they're gonna feel like you don't understand what they need or what they're after or what their goals are or you don't understand how you can help. It's just not a good look because they're gonna be like, 
can you help us get more free trials? And if you say, what's a free trial? How do you use free trials? They're, they're not even gonna wanna waste their time, right? So yeah, should you get into copywriting? It depends, right? Um, on a lot of things, you know, I think the, the goal and the message I wanted to deliver in this video is take the time to practice writing. That, that's important and that's probably the first step you need to take because that, that is one of the hardest steps, right? Developing a writing habit that you actually stick with and you feel like you enjoy and you don't get burnt out at the idea of writing a lot, a lot, because that, that's what it is, right? Like you need to be writing every day if you wanna be a copywriter. And I talk about this a lot. Like I do copywriting projects every week still through Fiverr and private clients. When I'm not doing Fiverr projects, I'm writing, whether it's copy for my own business, whether it's scripts for YouTube videos, whether it's book ideas for stories I wanna write one day, or whether it's just ideas. Like I always have a notebook lying around on my coffee table or kitchen table. That is step one. You gotta figure out if you wanna write. Once you've proven to yourself that you, you want to write, that's when this next thing, this whole part of this video comes in. You need to really ask yourself the question if you're ready to start researching and learning about the types of businesses you wanna to sell to. Because if you're not, this might not be for you and you might need to ask yourself the question of whether or not you should start copywriting in the first place because it is not just about writing. You need to become a specialist in different industries for different businesses and you need to, to enjoy that. Enjoy learning about the types of companies you want to sell to and you need to do it because otherwise you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. People are gonna be reluctant to hiring you and you're Genu genuinely just not going about it the right way unless you do that, right? It's not just about writing. You, you need to be ready to learn and show people that you've taken the time to learn so that if you're someone who's coming into copywriting with no formal education or experience and you've just practiced writing, you have a leg to stand on to show them that you've taken the time and you are someone they should trust with their business. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for this one. I hope this was a helpful chat. I will be recording another one after I get these flowers and head to my mom's house for her birthday. Cheers, guys.